I apologize in advance for making this video using the wrong setting. Hello everybody, it's Cheryl from Cheryl's Organic Food Force. Last night, early this morning, the temperature reached 34 degrees and with the winds the way they were, we got a slight frost on our winter crops. So I just wanted you to see them. But I wasn't worried about it. I said I wasn't worried about it because I knew that it was going to warm up and that little light frost, my plants can handle it. Here's a final look at some of our crops okay, go back with in the house. frost on it. So now a few hours later, you can see it's very sunny and all of the plants are perky and the leaves are extending towards the sun. So that really, really light little frost didn't do any damage whatsoever to these plants. Let's walk around here and get a good look at the mustards and cauliflower. Let's get closer, and closer, and closer. The Savoy cabbage. That is a pretty, pretty cabbage. Now, there's one exception to this rule. Those beets that were in the greenhouse, uh, planted, let me see if I can zoom in a little closer. Probably should have covered those, but because I started those beets in August, in September, I didn't see the need, but they'll be getting the perk up. They'll be okay. All right. Let's go over and look at the strawberries over here. They're perking up. And these beds, this one and the one I'm getting ready to show you, took temperatures as low as 16 degrees uncovered last year, and they did fine. So I'm going to walk back over here. Now, right in here is a little sparse because we had uh, some moonflowers to come up here. And I had a pot of, uh, right in there, I had a pot of uh, zinnias that I moved to the greenhouse. But I'm going to uh, fill that in and do some weeding out. We've got some wild purslane and some weeds in there, too. I don't consider purslane a weed. But anyways, this will all fill out as it grows continuously through the winter and the spring. Okay, so that's it. After your plants get well established, you can let them uh, remain uncovered, especially your cold crops, like your cabbages, red and green, and your brassicas. What's wrong, Bria? That lettuce is cold. It's cold? Okay. Well, you have the sweater on. Let's go back in the house. I'm not cold anymore. You're not cold? Now, this broccoli is beginning to separate a little bit. I'll harvest it. And this, well, I'll probably harvest all of it in a few days, except for these small ones. Now, I'll make a video when I harvest the broccoli. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye now. What did you say, Bria? I said bye now. Okay.